handicap game against Jan Jan. Okay, hope I better turn off the sound. This is the first time I'm going to be playing him, so uh, let's see how he does. Check my Twitch to see if everything is going okay. Yep. Okay, close the diagonal. Uh, no reason for him to do that because I don't have any bishop. Let's see. Okay, I'll put my gold here. I don't know where he's going to be positioning. Oh, there he goes. Okay, so I should probably start placing pieces around where his rook is. Uh, so maybe here. Okay, I probably want to place my silver here on 5-3. So um, there, he's probably going to thread his silver up and do something in this area. So I need to reinforce somewhere around here. I'll do it here. Maybe move the gold up next. And then I have to do something with this silver. I can't plan too far ahead because I, it's going to be in, in relation to what he does on his side. <clears throat> so a lot of this is a wait and see approach, and in that sense, it's easier to find my moves. The main thing you want to do in handicap games for the white side is to prevent an easy breakthrough. And this is a very sensible move since I don't have a lance here. There's a weakness. I'll just move this over here. If I move it here on 6-2, it leaves the edge a little bit weak. But in a way, it's, you know, pick, pick your poison. There's not that much you can do in a handicap game. Okay, so he's probably going to be threading the silver to 7-5 or 5-6 pawn, 5-5 five, five pawn, and then exchange in the center. So he has options. Can't deal with both of them.
just move here. Okay. Hmm. You just push here. So he's going to exchange this silvers and pawns, and I'm going to drop a pawn here. Actually, not too much I can do about that. Okay, that's a very good move. So I have to move my king off of that diagonal. Because after he takes him 6-4, it's going to be with check. He's going to recapture with the bishop. Hmm. I don't know, maybe 7-4 pawn just to mess things up. I can't allow him to continue smoothly, but there's not that much I can do. Yeah, let's, let's see. Now if he plays 6-4 pawn, I'm probably just going to play 5-2 king. Yeah. Yeah, there's sacrifices with Bush. You know, another thing he could have done instead of taking the pawn was uh, played 6-4 pawn and then 5 to king promotes here, gold takes here, and then 
I don't know. And then do something with the silver. I'm just going to take care. I don't know if he's going to, he's thinking about sacking the bishop. It's a bit early. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, well, I can't simply allow him to take. So, take here. He's probably going to move the knight up to 7-7. Seven, seven. And then I'll, I'll move my... Oh, no. If six four pawn, six three pawn. <clears throat> uh, so far, so good for his side. I don't know, 5-5 five, five pawn's kind of double-edged. He'd be able to exchange another pawn. Hmm. Yeah, he should probably move his knight up now. Good. Okay, so probably need to do that. And I hate doing it, but maybe eventually I'm gonna have to play six two pawn.
He's playing mostly normal fourth file rook moves, uh, with the exception of this bishop here. He gets to do that because it's a handicap game. In handicap game, I mean in even games, there's usually a lance here, so it's much harder to put the bishop here. Uh, in this case, he can, since I can't uh, push here with 9-4 four, four and 9-5 pawn. <coughs> Okay, so probably I can just push here. And since he has such a large advantage, what the handicap side wants to do is make things as simple as possible, while the disadvantage side wants to make things as complicated as possible. No way to stop 2 5 pawn. Some ways it's like throwing gasoline on fire, but what can you do? Okay. I have pawn takes pawn, then knight takes. Now one thing I can consider is 7-5 pawn. I'm already coming close to the end of my, my time, and then I'm going to be entering Bioyomi. So I clearly need to do something before uh, this thing gets too much worse. Otherwise, I'm not going to have any play at all. Some play is better than no play in this situation. Uh, so I should probably... I, I really don't know what's, what's best, but... Yeah, I should probably just take care first.
one of the confusing things about Shogi is converting an advantage. Well, you see, this is prob. I would say it's probably going to be enough, enough for him, but he still has has to convert, which is going to be a problem for him. So I probably want to exchange everything. <clears throat> I can't simply just leave it. I have to just, you know, accept this challenge. Whether to take the silver or to drop the pawn on 6-3, that's the question. Yeah, I think I have to take here. Actually, I should have waited for my 30 seconds to, to run out and just thought about the move. I'll do that now. Uh, because then I'd have one minute of move. It's better time management that way. <clears throat> And then in the final seconds of the minute, the final minute, I'll make my move. I have to get the timing down and make sure I don't move too quickly. It's really artificial, so I actually prefer different time controls, but this is unfortunately uh, what's popular in Shogi. <clears throat> So right now he threatens to drop the silver here on 6-1, so I definitely have to block it somehow. If I block it with the gold, um, what's going to happen is um, <clears throat> he's going to move the rook back, and then yeah, I better make my move pretty soon. And then he's going to still threaten to drop a pawn on on 6-4, that's why I have to drop drop a pawn. Okay, he probably, it's much safer for him just to pull the thing back, but now I have to stop him from this here. So I'm gonna have to move my gold up. And then seven, seven five rook, and then maybe I can just trap the thing with seven four silver. Whenever I see my line of play, I naturally want to move quickly, but uh, due to the Bioyomi, I have to resist this impulse as much as I can. Yeah, it's just. It's just the nature of this time control. There we go. <clears throat> uh, this pawn will stop his rook from going over to 1-5 afterwards.
Notice he had a lot of time in his time in his <clears throat> bank prior to doing all of this stuff in this area. He really ought to have used more of the time to figure out whether or not his play was going to dry up or not. So after the game, I'm definitely going to have to ma mention his time management. Another thing he could do is take this pawn. Yep. Okay, so I must take that. Take that guy. A eight three silver is also possible, but then he's later on going to be able to move the knight with temple. So it's probably better just to get rid of the gold. Then it's going to be a matter of keeping my king safe while attacking him at the same time. So there could still be technical difficulties on my side, which are exacerbated by the lack of time to figure things out. Okay, so now I have to drop my rook somewhere. Somewhere in the back rank. <clears throat> Seven, nine rook, six, five, nine. And now what I need to do is get get a pawn in hand. Like that. Oh, you see what I did? I, I didn't wait for my seconds to drop that drop down. That, that wasn't good. Okay, now I have to just take this. After which my king's probably gonna be pretty safe. Yeah, it's just a matter now of making my king safe, and then they should be winning. If he drops a silver somewhere down here, I probably have to move my king off. I mustn't drive my king down. Okay, this one's absolutely forced. I have to take it. If I drop my king back, then he's going to just mate me in one.
you, you notice his attacks dried up, that means he's going to have to rebuild it. And that, that's going to give me time. And I'm also going to have to make sure that my rook doesn't get trapped, too. If my king can get up and into his camp safely, with stuff around it, then there's going to be no way he can mate my king. So the next part of the game, we're going to have to see if my king can get trapped. And probably the answer is no. <clears throat> Unless he can somehow get tempo against this dragon here. So it's all about attack and defense now. Notice that uh, area around the king is very spacious so I can also run to the left probably not to the right because of this pawn I can promote you want to move the king away from danger and not towards it if you can sometimes you have to and then just fight it off Yeah, like that. He's probably going to drop the silver, like something here. Um, now I have to just make my there around my king safe. Maybe I can find an attack and defense move at the same time. I'm just going to move my, my rook here. Okay, that's... Uh, he solidified his defense, but that makes his offense a lot, a lot less possible. So I could probably just make a make a token. I could also make a horse. Let's just go with the token. And then I just promote it next. Very calm, calm moves. It's going to win some more material. I can make attack and defense move at the same time like this.
Yeah, this is very fast. One of the weaknesses of the Mino is the front, front of the castle. So now I could probably, if I want to win quickly, I could, I could do an immediate Yose. Because of the two knights. Have to calculate it out though. Yeah, this is good. And now I could take the gold, I think. I can't have his king run run out here. So I'll probably just take the gold. I could do the check first though. Yeah, I think I'm going to throw in this check. And then take the goal. <clears throat> if he takes a knight, then I just immediately made with the silver, like here. Yep, thank you. Okay. Um, did you want to go over the game? <coughs> hmm. My thing's not showing up. Okay, there we go. Okay. Can you log into Twitch? can't at the moment, okay. Hmm. Your, oh, his phone battery is almost out. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, I should probably go over the game a little bit right now. And then hopefully you can just look over the thing a little bit later. Okay, so he does normal normal even game Joseki, which is completely fine. Okay. Very, very good. Uh, this is fine. Another thing he could do is push here. Uh, if I take this silver, then he promotes here, breaking through. So I have to take here, and then he grabs here. And then I'm in, a, in somewhat trouble. I'm in some trouble. If he takes here, then you take here with check. 
see. This is also open. Okay, <laughs> made kind of like a trident. Uh, something like this, he can uh, grab it like this and promote the rook. Yeah, this is finished. Pawn takes. So I have to find something here. Uh, maybe just a pawn drop here. I believe he can still break through like this um, because of this. Okay, this is not as good as I thought. Uh, let's see. You know, he could calmly just move the knight up. Notice that this gold is pinned, so you can always do this next. Yeah, this doesn't look good at all. Uh, the main difference between this and the other variation is he's getting his pieces into play very quickly. Very quickly and smoothly. So definitely uh, this line would have been good for him. Okay. So is there something better than that? Well, if I move my king here, you notice that this uh, silver here is not doing that much. Also in the sore spots of the position that my silver can't get into play. Uh, he could do it like this, or even keep building up. I don't know what's better. See, he's threatening to promote here. And if I do a move like this, maybe he can just do this. Uh, because if I take here, then then there's this check, this discover check. Also, this gold is hanging. Uh, if I move the king here. Um, he can just take here and then take here. So he has two pieces for the two generals for the bishop. Plus he threatens here, threatens this, I mean threatens this. This is just finished. Um, maybe he can just grab here. This is done. Um, can't put up resistance after this. Yeah, so not that much better. Uh, 
Uh, instead of grabbing here, he should have just built, built up and threatened here. Notice everything is working together very well. And the rook. Maybe I'd have to do this. Okay, he threatens just dropping the knight here. And now he could probably just calmly, calmly do that. And then he threatens a similar things as before. Like that. It's, there's just too many things to defend against. If I do that, he just promotes. And if that, he has this again. Uh, but this is still good for his side. Instead of that move, he could also do this and then just threaten to push here. Like that. Get a pawn in hand, open up lines. Just threaten here. If my silver comes up here, then he just takes here, threatens to promote. This is just lost. Maybe he can even do this. Yes, and then just fork. Yeah, this is just completely busted. <coughs> okay, threatening this. Uh, maybe he could have promoted here. And just drop here. If I take, okay, yeah, he should get something better than that. Um, if here, then I'd probably just drop on here. Hmm. I had to time this with this since a bishop's diagonal is closed. Okay, so now, now maybe he has to just pull this guy back. I guess he could also try this. Hmm. Yeah, that's definitely possible. Another thing you can try is like this, uh, because now you can promote the bishop. 
Uh, the only thing is I have a rook in hand. So if I do like this, and now it's here. Uh, if I take here, then this knight comes up. It's over here. I don't know. Can you just can you just do something with Tapa Yose? Like this. Uh, silver here. So you can get some tempo against the rook. And then after I move the rook away, maybe here. Maybe you can just take another piece. My play looks kind of slow. If I do a move like that, maybe you can just move this guy back. So right now I threaten something like that, but it is his move. So maybe here, just to close in on the king. I believe he's winning. So is there a way to stop him from getting the knight into play? Maybe I can do this guy first. I uh, here. I should probably do that. So this isn't 100% clear. His play is kind of running out. Yeah, definitely had better earlier. But after this, uh, you notice the rook gets trapped. So what you should have done was move the rook here. And then it's still game. Uh, after this, uh, I, I just have to attack the rook. Yeah. Or maybe here. Mm. Yeah, I need to eliminate this knight. Yeah, my king can escape too easily. I have king here, then I just grab like that and threaten to drop, drop here. Um, check, uh, the king had to run here. And I have to be very careful that I don't just chase the king up the board because he can grab here. I mean, I'm, this might still be winning though. But kind of scary. Yeah, Neb this is Nebari. So I mustn't 
allow the king to run. I have to prep it first. I can do this. Then threaten this. So move order is very important in, when you're calculating finishes. Uh, because now the king can't run here. I just stop it with the gold. Like that. Anyway. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful to you. Uh, thank you again for the game. Uh, and for those who are watching, thank you for joining us today. I do a lot of teaching on, on stream. Uh, some pro bono work also offer, offer private lessons. If you're interested in any of this, you can reach me at alexi, A-L-E-X-E-I, 2539 at gmail.com. I'd be happy to hear from you. And if you found this useful, please consider supporting the stream uh, by donations. You can do that by clicking on, on the blue Pac-Man ghost in the donation sections in Twitch. Thank you for joining me today. Take care. Bye.